their mic here. Just calling the meeting to order at 6.02 p.m. This is the Board of Directors uh, special school board meeting for Monday, January 9th, 2023. Uh, welcome to all visitors, guests, and media. Uh, we're going to start today with the visit, uh, roll calls. Uh, Mr. Felt, here. Mr. Burns? Here. Ms. Schultz? Here. Ms. Getzko? Here. Ms. Danielson? Here. Ms. Neaton? Here. Mr. Ono? Here. Will please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. I, I pledge, allegiance pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're going to start tonight with the uh, ceremonial oath of office to our new two new board members. So, Ms. Neaton, Ms. Ronell, please stand up. I'll get my notes out here. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state. I swear, I swear and affirm that, that I will support, support the Constitution, Constitution of the United States, States and, and of this state. state and that I will discharge faithfully the duties of the office of school board member. And, and I that I will discharge faithfully the duties of the office of school board member. Of independent school district number 111 to the best of my judgment and ability. Of independent school district number 111 to the best of my judgment and ability. Awesome. Welcome. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. As Darren gets his photo off. Well <laughs> I hope I was on. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. First action item is a motion to approve the agenda and addendums. So moved. I'll second. Motion made by Mr. Burns, seconded by Ms. Getzko. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carries. Now on to the reorganization. The 2023 Watertown Mayor Independent School District 111 School Board. Um, there's, a, there's a specific process here that we have to follow. Um, if there's only one nomination for the uh, position, that person will be elected by acclamation. If there are more than one nominations, uh, we will do a roll call vote just to make sure that all votes are recorded accurately. So, with that being said, uh, nominations are now in order for the office of chair. Nominate Dr. Fell. I'll I second. I'll third. <laughs> I, I, I don't think technically oh, we need a second, wait. but we okay, can just, at least put that in the record. Who it says it? motion yes. second. Yeah. Are there any further nominations for the office of chair? Are there any further nominations for the office of chair? All right, if there are no further nominations, Nominations for the Office of Chair are now closed. Um, Hunter Felt is the only candidate nominated for the Office of Chair, and I hereby declare him slash me elected <laughs> by acclamation and directed to be recorded in the minutes. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Next up is the nominations for the Office of Vice Chair. I'll nominate Jim Burns for Vice Chair. That's cool. A second. Nate. Mr. Burns is nominated. Are there any other nominations for office of vice chair? Are there any further nominations for the office of vice chair? If there are no further nominations, nominations for the office of vice chair are now closed. Mr. Burns is the only candidate that was nominated for vice chair, and I hereby declare him elected by acclamation and directed to be recorded. Moving up in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, nominations um, are now in order for the office of treasurer. I will nominate Ms. Schultz. I'll second. So you didn't want to do Oh, I go back? <laughs> on my notes, on my notes, we'll just we'll just do treasurer first. Oh okay. yeah. So we have Erica was nominated, and it was motion was made by Mr. Felt, seconded by Ms. Danielson. Danielson. 
All right. Are there any further nominations for the Office of Treasurer? Any further nominations for the Office of Treasurer? If there are no further nominations, nominations for the Office of Treasurer are now closed. Ms. Schultz is the only candidate nominated for the Office of Treasurer, and I hereby declare her elected by acclamation and, again, directed to be recorded. So my notes were out of order according to this, so I apologize. <laughs> and now nominations are now in order for the Office of Clerk. <coughs> I nominate Katie Jo Danielson. Thank you. Second. Okay. <laughs> I'll second. second. Yep. I have a nomination for Ms. Danielson is nominated. Um, are there any other nominations for the Office of Clerk? Any further nominations for the Office of Clerk? Hearing that no further nominations, nominations for the Office of Clerk are now closed. Ms. Danielson is the only candidate nominated for the Office of Clerk and I hereby declare her elected by acclamation and directed to be recorded. Awesome. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the hard part's done. <laughs> the wordy part is done, I should say. Um, next up is a motion to approve the 2023 calendar dates and meeting times for the school board, regular school board meetings. All meetings are to be held here at Watertown City Hall. Um, one thing of, of note is I believe that there's two months where they are not the, on the fourth Monday. March, believe, March and December. March and December. Mm -hmm. Everything else, it's always the fourth week of uh, the month. Um, the reason why March and December is the holidays and spring break. Spring break. Any further questions? Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion made by Ms. Schultz, seconded by Mr. Burns. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion carries. <clears throat> Next up, item C, motion to approve the following designations for well, calendar year 23, which includes the official district newspaper of the Herald Journal, the official district bank depositories, Bremer Bank and Minnesota Trust PMA Financial Network LLC, the legal or official legal advisors of Kennedy and Graven, and the official financial advisors, Baker Tilly Municipal Advisors, LLCI, and Minnesota Trust PMA Financial Network, LLC. Um, one item of, of note is the district newspaper. Uh, it was the News and Times um, recommending going to the Herald Journal. Um, they do a fantastic job on the sports side of the world. Mm -hmm. And I believe, Mr. Schuler, you've had conversations with uh, the newspaper um, and saying that they want to cover more the school board side, the more local side, and said that they would do a much better job. Additionally, um, the Herald Journal is actually cheaper. In the past, we've had we've had two designations mm -hmm. when I first started on the board. Mm -hmm. yep. That required us to actually put right. all of our minutes and everything into both newspapers, which kind of got can get spendy. So I think last year we pulled back and went just to the News and Times, and now it's recommended going on to the Herald Journal. Okay. Um, open for discussion on, on that specifically. The rest of it is the same from past years. I make a motion to approve the official designations for fiscal year 23. I'll second. <laughs> motion made by Ms. Danielson, seconded by Mr. O'Neill. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carries. Uh, item D, motion to approve Superintendent Schuler, Financial Officer Rader, and Payroll Benefits Officer Brableman to initiate, transfer, invest, authorize district funds and transfers on behalf of the school district for 2023, and for the Administrative Assistant, Ms. Hewen, to perform some duties of the clerk. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the um, designation. designations <laughs> as <laughs> stated. Second. Motion made by Ms. Getzko, seconded by Ms. Naden. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carries. 
Next up, item E, motion to approve the school board compensation for 2023. Um, the reimbursement will be paid out twice a year, so is it June and end of December. June and end of December. Mm -hmm. um, for our new board members, last year we had a discussion on, on this, so they were bumped up from what they were prior, but I believe that there hadn't been any updates within the last... 10 and plus we had to years. submit them monthly, mm -hmm. like on our own, so mm -hmm. now it's just easier. It's just more blanket. One and done. Mm -hmm. Or two and done, I guess. It's just time, time cards. <laughs> time cards. Yeah. So that was, yeah. 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 yeah it was a... And it was like handwritten, not even electronic, so <laughs> this is much better. <laughs> so is there a motion to approve the compensation? Uh, so moved. I will second. Dr. Felt. Motion made by Ms. Danielson, seconded by Mr. Felt. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion carries. This is the current one. Okay. Uh, next up, item F, the school board committees. Um, one of the things that, that the board chair does prior to the meeting is going through the committees that we have, whether they're board committees or advisory committees, as well as um, board officers kind of trying to utilize those folks in what, are they, what they have interests in, areas. Um, and this is the one from last year. Mr. Schuler, can you bring up the one from yep, this year? Mm -hmm. So what I am proposing, hopefully you all have, have seen this, is, it is sort of the, the layout here. Um, it should be known that from a community ed and Southwest Metro perspective, there's only one, well, and MSHSL, there's only one board member attending those meetings. Everything else at least has two, and we cannot go over three because then it's a quorum if there's more than three. And I am open to um, comments, feedback, adjustments as you guys see fit or want to duke it out, um, that's an okay thing to, this was sort or, of just. Yeah, or questions or too questions about the specific questions. committee, if you're not sure what they do, we can help there too. Otherwise, if nobody sees any issues, we are looking for a motion to approve the appointments for 2023. Actually, I do have one okay. thing. For Southwest, I was wondering if I could have a backup just in case I don't make it. I think uh, Hunter is yeah. Well, I um, wanted to yeah. make sure it yeah. was noted. Well, yes. yes. Um, however, <laughs> one of the things that I, I was thinking about from a South, so Southwest Metro is our, our co-op. Um, the meetings are down in Shakopee, but you're on technically on the board, right, of the Southwest Metro? Is that yes, kind of how it is? But correct. But if I'm not there, you can always have you know, Maybe not a non-voting member over, type right. of thing. Just so information. It would so. be fine yep. if gotcha. you joined or well, anyone else. Do you want to run through those quick, just to, um, for posterity's sake, just to let everybody know where they're on or not? But it's really up to you. Can, can you can everybody kind of follow what their roles are okay. vertically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for you guys that are new, if you have any questions on those committees that are that you'll be stepping on to and kind of what happens when and where, happy to. Yes. We're all happy to fill in the blanks. Absolutely. And typically, the, the, the committees typically are at least quarterly. Yeah. Okay. Um, with the exception of the MSHSL, that's something Mr. Szymanski and, and you will kind of mm -hmm. work through. Okay. But, and then, like, uh, Education Foundation Board, they meet monthly. They do. Um, but we're not voting members, but, you know, we try to... You know, when we have, they're meeting tonight, actually. Mm. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of those there's, Monday there's night conflicts, conflicts yeah. with it's that group. Especially every month. holiday. Um, they do, yeah. I think, yeah. They meet every month. Yeah. Usually it's before, you know, a couple weeks before this meeting or the week mm. before this meeting, but mm -hmm. it's just yeah. yeah, okay. And then kind of uh, standard practice has been at the, at the actual board meetings, the, the regular school board meetings, we do give updates on if we've had any of those committee meetings. 30 second update just to kind of inform the rest of the board what's going on on that aspect. Um, obviously if there's something big going on, you know, kind of reaching out to the right parties and, and getting that on the calendar. 
Yeah. Lisa, I'm also on the policy committee, so <clears throat> usually Heather will email us the policies prior to the meeting so that you have a chance to look them over and make yep. notes and changes. Yeah. Yep. So I see she did that already. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> And usually there's nothing ever really wild and crazy. But. Yeah, the policies are typically recommended by our school board association or our attorney. It, yeah. yeah, so it's pretty standard practice that you try to follow the advice of that uh, those two groups. And so, um, since we're kind of dancing around everything, the finance committee. Yeah, <laughs> might as well, right? Um, the, the finance committee meets quarterly with, with Lisa uh, Raider. And just kind of goes over the budgeting, where we're at, where we're going, um, if there's any hiccups, big purchases, uh, the annual audit, we go into a deeper dive on that. That's done, typically done toward the end, mid-year. Um, the facilities committee for the last two and a half years has been the BOC, the bond committee. Um, so that one is meeting fairly regularly as we kind of wrapping up the projects, it's bi-weekly, um, Wednesday nights, uh, depending on the weather, either it's in person or, or remote, but it's, um, yeah, it, it'll bend, eventually get back to a regular cadence, but with the bond issues and, and projects. Oh, that was, that came out wrong. It's not bond issues, with the, with the bond projects and the bond, everything with the bond, we've been meeting mm -hmm. bi-weekly. Uh, personnel committee handles the negotiations. Um, we actually received an uh, email today that the teachers are ready for negotiations or wanting to start talks. Um, and Darren, you might have a better idea. What are the bargaining units that are up this uh, year? We have uh, teachers, paraprofessionals, custodians, and food service. It's the big year. I feel like you and superintendent. Right? And, and what? superintendent. Wait, are you yes. sure? Didn't you just do this? It just seems like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was late. It was late. Oh, because we were negotiations late. ended. Right. Never, everything got that's kind of pushed right. back. Oh, and so it was probably more like a year and two months since we've been doing this last. So, yeah, with that group. It hasn't been very long. But it does come back. No, it's I just feel like well, you guys are And then it's kind of in arrears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. that's why. It, exactly. Yeah. And so that's, that's why there is a additional stipend for the personnel committee. It's, it's time and the, the, there's not really a cadence to how often those meetings happen, um, other than when you start negotiations, but mm. they could be 15 meetings to settle, and there could be right. two. two. Yeah. Right. Very true. And the advisory committees, those are more ad advisory. So the, the board committees are the ones where we're making decisions, we're bringing them you know, the, the, the nuts and bolts, the advisory committees are just more informative, where we're just kind of sitting there offering some guidance, but being uh, more of the sounding board and being able to report back to all and of those us. Those will have, um, like, community members on them as well, so it's not, uh, mm -hmm. or staff. <clears throat> exactly. And that is the committees in a nutshell. Move mm -hmm. approval as presented. I'll second. Burns, Danielson. Getzko, actually. Getzko. Okay. Motion made by Mr. Burns, seconded by Ms. Getzko. Any further discussion? <laughs> all right, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion carries. The last item that we have, it, it's one of the things that MSBA recommends every January. You kind of go, you, you review the code of ethics. Um, this is our code of ethics, which falls in line with the MSBA, Minnesota School Board Association model. Um, if you haven't already done so, you know, after this meeting tonight, tomorrow, if you're needing something to, to put you to sleep, please review the policy. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Uh, there's, there's a few things that I wanted to specifically ones. call out is, is Section A. Um, I think it's really just a good reminder for all of us. You know, attending, uh, the, the, as a member of the school board, attending all the school board meetings, coming prepared, so reviewing the agendas that Ms. Hewen sends out, um, and listening to the opinions of others, whether they're you know, school board members, staff, the community, that you know, the community is who we represent and who elected us. Voting your conscience, um, it doesn't, not every vote has to be a 7-0, you know, and that's an okay thing. 
but supporting the decision at the end. If it's a 6-1, if you're the one, you support the other six once that vote is done. Um, and recognize the integrity of what came before us. There's been boards before us, there'll be boards after us, so taking what they've done and trying to move the district forward. And being motivated to provide the best possible education for the students. That's why we're here. It, it's, it's all about the kids. Um, in, in my opinion, it's not about beliefs or policy or polit politics or anything like that. It's what's best for the 1,500 kids that we see. Whatever that is, that's what we should move forward to. As well as informing yourself about the, the duties and functions of a school board member. We've kind of talked about the committees. Um, you know, reaching out to any one of us if you want to find out more about the chair role, about personnel committee, whatever it might be, we're all here to learn from each other and, and what we should and shouldn't do. MSBA is a fantastic resource mm -hmm. for all questions. So mm -hmm. those are just a few of the, the big items on the code of ethics that I thought, you know, kind of sharing with everybody and just kind of at least putting it out there, getting it out in front of everybody. Um, with that, we are done with our organizational meeting. Um, is there a motion? So moved. Second. <laughs> we have a motion made by Ms. Danielson, seconded by Ms. Schultz. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Motion to adjourn the school board meeting at 623.